Hey everyone and welcome to the video. Today I want to show you a really handy feature inside of the Cubase channel settings when it comes to mixing. So here we're inside our regular mixer and all I'm going to do is come to the kick track and open up the edit channel settings. From here you'll notice that we have our main equaliser but what I want to direct your attention towards are these little boxes just above. And this is your channel comparison settings. To activate this, we're going to click on the active channel comparison button, and you'll notice that these two boxes suddenly spring to life and become quite colourful. The left box represents the current channel that we have selected and that we have the channel settings open for. And then the right box allows us to select another channel from within the project um, that we can compare to. So I'm going to select the base for this. Now, something handy to note with this little feature is that if I click on solo for the kick, it'll solo the kick in the project. But if I also want to solo the bass along with it, I can do so as well, like so. Now, when we press play, what's going to happen is Cubase is going to play both of these solo tracks, but it's going to give us two different frequency analyzers for both. So we can see them together and and you can look at it and go okay i need to carve out space for the kick here i need to boost the 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 uh, kick drum there uh, and you can see how they both work together so it makes it easier for when you're trying to get things to play with each other and, and not have to worry about putting other inserts in and setting this up that allow you this kind of cross channel talk between eq And you can see we have two distinctively different coloured frequency bands with the orange being the bass and obviously the blue being the kick. You can actually adjust these from the equaliser settings here. And you'll also notice I've actually changed this from sliders to knobs, which you can do uh, from this window. But if I hit play, you can change the transparency of both of these tracks. So it makes it more, you know, you can tailor it to suit your needs. Uh, when you're working with this. Now I'm going to go ahead and just quickly do some EQs on the kick. Uh, and now if I suddenly decide, okay, I want to work on the bass, I don't have to exit the channel settings. I can literally click on the bass and it will take me to the track. So if you've got any inserts, um, you can work on the bass inserts and also work with the plugins on the bass track. And you'll notice that it's actually reversed the analyzer now as well. So we're, we're seeing the bass at the front and then the kick at the back. So this allows you to then carry on doing your EQing. You know, whatever you want to do to spice up your tracks. Now there is one downside to the channel comparison. And that is if you exit the channel settings window and then go back to it, it will automatically deactivate it. Um, it would be nice if it remained active as well. However, it is a very handy feature to use for when you are mixing and it will save you a little bit of time. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you have, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.